stuttering was a massive burden in my life and it was something which I thought there was something wrong with me and when I stuttered I didn't feel normal and I felt like I was different to other people who didn't stutter and I don't feel a kind of fear there, it just feels like I'm a normal person now. Just a massive thank you to you and Roman. according to uh, 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 early results from the first international survey of researchers workplace uh, attitudes and practices through scientists who responded said they believe their labs are safe places to work yet just Injuries ranging from animal bites to chemical inhalation and large fractions notice frequent long working unreported injuries and insufficient safety training. Okay, okay, that's enough. Now close the book and tell me what you have read. This is very common. <laughs> um, it was something about scientists, but I don't know. That's... That happens. Oh. 
okay, so it's... How did your speech go for two days, yesterday and today, when you were not in the classroom? My speech for well, two days has been very good. I felt like I could talk naturally and not with lots of tension in my mouth. I feel like I've got more control over the rate of my speech and how fast I should be talking. When I do speak too fast, then my speech does get out of control. But I kind of realise now when I, I'm talking too fast, and I just kind of try and slow that down, really. Try and or do it? Do, yeah. <laughs> okay. I do slow that down. So even though I felt like I was under some kind of pressure, my speech was still fine. Okay, so let's do our test. We're going to do exactly the same tasks that you were doing before the class. And first I'm going to ask you to open the dictionary and read words. Okay. Green. Greatness. Greasy. Grace. Grit. Greeting. Green. Greenhouse. Grief, grievance, grieve, grievous, griffin, grill, assigner, assimilate, assimilation, assist, assistant, assistant, assize, associable, astir, astonish, energy, and wake and feeble, and franchise, endorse, ending, endeavor, and, and close, and compass, and courage, impossible, impost, imposter, imposture, impotence, impotent, impotently, Impound, impression, oblation, obligate, obligation, oblige, oblique, obit, obituary, object, oasis, oat, okay, oakfish, oakum. Obedient, unintelligent, union, union jack, unique, unison, unison, unit, unitarian, unitarianism, unitary, unite, thoughtfully, thoughtless, thought reading, thousand, thousand. Row, rapture, rushing, red, why, wick, wicked, wicked, wide, widely, widen, widow, wind, wheels, white, 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 
Did you make any mistakes? No. Oh, very clever Raoul's hybrid. Very amusing. That's me. How smart is in it. All right. Come in then. Yeah. Ungrateful little. Mumbling darkly. He stood back to let them pass. Harry, Ron and Hermione have gone to Hagrid's house. And they're saying that they've missed Hagrid. And Hagrid doesn't believe them. Harry lays down next to Fang's robes, and Fang is Hagrid's dog. Did you make any mistakes in reading? No mistakes, but I thought that I did read a bit too fast, but my speech was fine. Okay, very good. Ian telling back, how was your speech? Good. Good or excellent? Excellent. That's it, I like it better. <laughs> Now, the next point is TV commentary. Okay, so Justin Bieber is on the Jonathan Ross show. And Jonathan Ross is interviewing Justin Bieber. Jonathan Ross is now asking Justin what his life is like. And is asking about his success and about how COVID has been. And Justin is saying how he can't go out without security, and I'm now saying that you like to just go out and not have to call security and to worry about stuff, but he's saying that he wouldn't have been able to do the things which he wants to do without his fame, so he's saying that he does enjoy fame because he does Okay. Okay. Turn it down. Okay. Let's grade your speech when you were completing this task. Okay. How was it? A. A. Why not A plus? A plus then. <laughs> A star. Okay. So when I was about four. I stuttered on some words and my mum realised that I was stuttering and she took me to see a speech therapist who said I had a stutter and she worked with me for about six years now. She made me practice reading words and sounds and then in year five my speech improved quite a bit and then in high school my speech from year seven to year nine wasn't too bad really but then in year ten my dad left my mum and this put me under lots of stress and my speech got worse lots worse and from year ten my speech has been pretty bad and has got worse over time. So last year I went to see a speech therapist and I told him that my speech was pretty bad and it was causing me lots of stress and it was putting me under pressure and stuff and I thought it had to talk to my mum and talk to my dad and talk to family and friends and then he basically just told me that stuttering is neurological and there's no cure for it and told me some techniques that I could do. He told me to speak in syllables, so talk like this and then when you do that. So I tried to do that and it didn't work and made me just sound like a robot and pretty much made my speech worse actually. And then he also told me about easy onset and about speaking softly at the start of words, which again didn't help me much. So I found out about your site maybe two years ago. And at first, for the first year, 
I thought that it was nonsense and I thought that it couldn't possibly work and I thought that because I've been told all my life that stuttering is genetic and is neurological, I thought that it couldn't possibly be true that someone could eliminate it. And then I researched about your course for two years and the more I started researching, the more it started to make sense to me. I started talking to you and at first I was sceptical but then as I asked you more questions and talked with you more and Skyped you, then I found out that this was the answer and this could help my speech tremendously. So two weeks ago I Skyped you and got the phones together and I paid for it and then the phones took so long to get through and I thought that oh I've been scammed or oh, oh, oh like something's gone wrong here, like I'm never gonna see my money again and I was freaking out. But then two no, three days ago you messaged me and said that the money had come through so I was chuffed and you said that we could start straight away and I was so happy and now I'm talking fine and my speech is fine and everything's good and I'm talking naturally and when I do get to a word which is difficult to say I just have to pause and recall it like that and it comes out fine. Yep. So I'm happy. The course was not difficult. I think that it's a simple course and kids could easily learn it. It's something which is common sense really and it's something which I've not had when I've been speaking for 18 years. And it's not hard to understand, it's not hard to take in or learn. It just makes sense really. And it's just simple and I feel now that I can control my speech better and it's just great. But once again, what do you control? You control your normal speaking or mistakes? I control my normal speaking, not my mistakes. Yep, yeah, because once again, whatever you are focused on, that's what you're going to get. You focus yeah. on mistake, you're going to get a mistake. I would tell people who are skeptical about the course to just read the website and do some research, look who Roman Schnitzko is and look at his work. And I found to find that was helpful was to go onto Roman's website, which is in Russian, and translate it into English. And it's full of information and it's so helpful and, and simple and there's loads of reviews on the website and people who've given feedback on the class and people who've been to see his seminars and people who know him personally before you just go and say oh it's a scam oh this isn't real so just do some research I'm going to start speaking in front of people, in front of groups and in front of girls more. I did talk to girls quite a lot and my speech didn't tend to be worse with girls. It in fact tended to be kind of better with girls really, but I think I would normally speak to girls just one person at one time. So I'd speak to one girl but not like a whole group of them. And I tended not to make conversation with people who I didn't know. So if someone was in an elevator with me, then I'd probably just stay silent and make no conversation, no small talk. But I'm going to do that now. I tended to with my parents. I think they thought that I was quite moody because I just didn't speak 
But then, in reality, it was just because I couldn't speak. So I wanted to speak, but there were just no words coming out of my mouth. So, yeah, so I think I'll try and talk to my parents more and talk to my sister more. My sister lives in London and I don't see her much really. So I'm probably going to phone her. I phoned her last night too and spoke to her for a bit. I'll probably start going to the gym more. I kind of feared the gym because at my gym there's a massive jacuzzi and all my friends kind of like go there and socialise and stuff. So I kind of hide away from it, but now I'm just going to go there and speak freely. I'm going to start looking for a job too and I think I can start to be myself more and start to actually be who I am and speak from the heart instead of like constructing these sentences in my head to suit how a stutter would speak. I'm just going to speak how I want to speak and then what's going on in my head. Mm-hmm.